So let's start. The first chore chart I want to show you, that's the very classic one. It has the activities you want your child to complete and then you have days of the week. Um, and whenever your child completes an activity, he's supposed to take the token and just uh, move it to the right column. And then by the end of the day, all of the column is supposed to be complete. Another classic chore chart is having two columns, one with to do, this is where you put all the activities that you want your children to complete during the day. And then the other one is done. And the idea is that whenever they complete an activity, they move it from the to do section to the done section. And that's what they're supposed to do uh, during the day. So a few tips is just if you can put the um, order of the activities uh, in an order that makes sense um, to complete throughout the day. So for example, we've started with making the bed and finished with putting all the dirty clothes into the laundry hamper at the end of the day. Now, another little trick um, that I like doing, it might work for you or not, is that I like to sort of communicate with my kids when they are supposed to finish or to complete um, the task. So rather than keep it open, um, I like to have sort of an understanding, but I don't necessarily make it by a specific time, especially not during the summer break. But what I do is that I connect it to meals, if that makes sense. So for example, if it's about making their bed, um, it's good to complete that before breakfast. So BB stands for before breakfast. Um, and then we have another two activities that they can do after breakfast. Um, and then, for example, tidying their desks or throwing away garbage, they can do that after lunch. So that's AL after lunch. Um, and here's another activity that they can do after dinner, which is to putting down, uh, to putting away all their toys. Um, and then we finish with AS. Now, guess, can you guess what that is? That's after shower. Um, so after the shower, they can, um, you know, hang the wet towels and put their uh, dirty clothes in the hamper. So um, another way to do it is with giving them some sort of like a, a time range. So for example, before 10 a.m., uh, between 10 to 12, uh, between 12 to 1 or between 12 to 5 or whatever. Some kids prefer to have a specific time range so they have flexibility so they don't feel like they're being told exactly what to do and when. Um, so that's the to do and done uh, chore chart. So here's another version of the to do and done chore chart, just another little way to make it a bit more fun and interesting for the kids. Um, here I have drew a obstacle course or a race course um, and if you want to do you can just put the corresponding numbers on the actual uh, activity tokens and then the kids know what to complete first and they do it throughout the day. Um, I've added a little flag saying I think like start and finish here as well. Um, so just another little way to make it a bit more fun for the kids. So another way to use your screen time tokens is to mix and match with my other sets. This one is the bedroom activity tokens. Um, and what I've done is I've matched uh, screen, uh, screen time tokens with each uh, bedroom activity token by sort of like level of difficulty, if that makes sense. So like quick jobs only earn you 10 minutes of screen time uh, versus more time consuming jobs um, that earn you maybe 20 or 30 minutes time each. Um, and then what it means is that uh, whenever your child did one of the activities, um, they can then take the screen time activity token and put it in the laptop. So um, they can maybe choose whatever they want to do, uh, depending on the order that they want to do. Um, but this is the way that they've earned additional time. So for example, let's say um, they've done something very quick, like putting their uh, dirty clothes in the basket. So that earns them 10 minutes and you can see um, what they've done. So you don't need to think because these are left empty. Uh, but if they've done something a bit more time consuming, for example, tidying up their desk, um, then they will earn maybe 30 minutes of screen time. 
Um, and this is how um, we can use both sets together. I do sell another set, which is all about the kitchen um, and activities around uh, preparing for meals and cleaning up after meals. So that's another time, um, another set that you can mix and match uh, into earning screen time.